Hello, my Rose Room friends. It's so good to see you guys. We miss you so much, Annie and I. But this is a fun way to all get together, right? And to read some stories and books and to sing songs and to do some art projects. It's fun. And we're going to have fun, right? We're going to sing a little hello song to you today. Hello everybody, yes indeed, yes indeed, yes indeed. Hello everybody, yes indeed, won't you be my darling? Clap your hands now, you guys clap. Yes indeed, yes indeed, yes indeed. Clap your hands now, yes indeed, won't you be my darling? Tap your head now. <laughs> Can you tap your head? Tap your head now, yes indeed, yes indeed, yes indeed. Tap your head now, yes indeed, won't you be my darling? Tap your shoulders, yes indeed, tap your shoulders, yes indeed, yes indeed. Tap your shoulders, yes indeed, won't you be my darling? Flap your wings just like a butterfly, like a butterfly, like a butterfly. Flap your wings just like a butterfly, won't you be my darling? Won't you come and sit with me, sit with me, sit with me? Won't you come and sit with me right here on your rug or floor or couch? or cozy chair, or your bed, right? What do we always sing then, right before we read a story? Open, shut them. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Place them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your mouth real wide. I'm looking, I'm looking, I see you. Uh, but do not let them in. Okay, so the last time I read to you, I read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And guess what? We're actually going to read it again today. Because what's so important about this book is that it tells us all about The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Remember this little guy? But at the end, he turns into a beautiful butterfly. So today, we're going to talk about butterflies, right? And I think Annie's going to show you what the butterflies look like at her, or the caterpillars look like at her house. And hopefully, we'll have some butterflies to look at too. It's a little cold today, so I don't think we'll see any butterflies today, but in the next couple weeks, hopefully, we'll get to see some butterflies. So let's read this book again. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Oh, and this time I don't have Jackson and Jessica, my big kids here today, to, um, uh, to act out and to be a caterpillar and to help with all the props. Just me today. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. There's the egg. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came out and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Do you remember what he was looking for? He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through one, two, can you count with me? One, two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three Plums, can you count with me? One, two, three. But he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four what? What are those? Right, strawberries. Let's count. One, 
two, three, four. He ate through four strawberries. But he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five. Do you know what those are? Yes, oranges. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Five oranges. Oh, oh my goodness. That very hungry caterpillar, he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one slice of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Mmm, that night he did not feel good. He had a stomach ache. Can you guys see? Look at his little face. He's not smiling there. No, he is not happy. He does not feel good. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. And he's smiling. He's happy. I'm glad he ate some healthy food. Now, he wasn't a little hungry caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two, one, two weeks. And then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon pushed his way out, and you guys, what does he turn into? He was a beautiful butterfly. Isn't that amazing? They're so beautiful. So something that we're going to talk about today is symmetry. Symmetry is when something is the same on one side, it's the same on the other. Now, I'm not sure if you guys remember, but I think you do. When it was really snowing out and we were in the Rose Room, we did an art project where we talked about symmetry. So we had the mittens, blue paper mittens, and we painted one side. We painted one side of the paper, and then we folded it, and then we smushed it. And when we opened it up, do you guys remember, it was the same on one side as the other. That's symmetry. So see how there's a red dot here on the butterfly wing with orange? Look over here, red with orange. There's purple here on the bottom of the butterfly wing. Look over here, purple. Look, there's blue with red and yellow circles. <gasps> Look over here, blue with red and yellow circles. That's symmetry. It's the same on one side as it is on the other. So we are going to make cups and butterflies, and we're going to make some wings. So first I will show you a way of doing butterflies. You guys can make this, right? Not sure if you can even see, but we do have like little antennas. Remember the antennas? or what are on top of a caterpillar and a butterfly because they don't have fingers. Caterpillars have little feet and then when they turn into butterflies they have wings but they don't have hands to feel and to touch. So those antlers, that's what they do. They kind of measure and feel out the world around them so they don't bump into things. And it helps them find food and things too. So ask your parents, you can just take any paper towel you could also um, use a, if your parents drink coffee, you could use a coffee filter too. I don't have a white coffee filter, which might be better, but you could ask your parents to pinch together a coffee filter, and then you can use a little tie. You can find these at the grocery store if you don't have any. You could use a rubber band. You could use ribbon. You know, whatever you really want. The wire is nice though because then you can pinch it together 
like the antennas, and then you decorate the wings. So some of the things that you can use to decorate the wings, like this one, this is food coloring. So I just used a couple different, this is actually my favorite, I use a lot of this kind of orange food coloring, but any kind of food coloring would work. And remember, it's a little, I know it's gonna be hard for you guys to see, but you're just, you're gonna drop food coloring on one side, and then remember, go put it on the other side, because you want to create symmetry. You want it to be the same on one side as the other. This one isn't perfect, but it's good. It just kind of spreads a little differently. It's really neat to see how the watercolors like go all the way through the paper towel. Another way you can do that, it's even easier, is just using markers. And I used a smaller paper towel for this one. And again, you know, you can, I mean, I like to make it, well, you know, keep it apart. And then you can take a marker and water. And you can dip the marker in the water. And then it kind of smears a little bit more. And when you add the water, it kind of spreads. But then I would have to remember to do it over on this side to create symmetry. And then I pinched it together and add the little wire. This is this one I actually got at the Whole Foods in Evanston. I got a bag of nuts. And then I just kind of took the top off. So parents, look around you. There's all kind of ways and things that you can use materials to make those things. Now another, and I'm going to keep these handy because what I thought would be fun for you guys to do is to put them inside in like your plants. If you have plants around your house, you can do that. I've got some plants behind me that I might just like sit these in the plants because butterflies land on plants and flowers because they drink the nectar. Now, I also made a big butterfly. So if you have, you don't have to have really big paper. You guys are smaller than I am. So even a half the size of this would be fine. Any kind of paper, ask your parents to fold the paper in half and to use scissors and to cut out the paper in the shape of a butterfly. And then, let's see if I can move it down a little bit. I brought some paint and paint brushes. And I like a little bubble in here. I dip the paint in and I'm gonna do a circle. Just on one side, only paint on one side. Like a little line. I'm gonna use some green. This is like a kind of a light blue periwinkle color. This is a light green. Up oh, and it's gonna be the same on this side as the other. So, but only on one side. Please remember to only paint on one side because then you're gonna fold, so bright, let me turn my computer, in half and smush it. Smush it on one side and just like in the book, when you open it up, butterfly wings. See, it's the same on one side as the other. A blue circle here. 
kind of big. Blue circle here, a small green circle here, a small green circle there. Squiggly green line on this side, a squiggly green line on the other. And another big blue circle down here. Oh, blue circle on the other. Now, ask your parents if they can cut out, um, let me lift it up again, a piece of cardboard. Remember, lots of packages are probably being delivered to your house, right? And then you can use, I only had this kind of a hole puncher. Again, we're all being resourceful or use if you have a single hole puncher, you know what? Mom, dad, friends, I use scissors. I had to be creative with that. And I poked holes again, but this that's the part of the mom and dad, right? That help you. Then I got some ribbon. So I have this ribbon and I pulled some out. You can kind of measure what size you need because it's going to go like around your arms. So I would say about 18 inches would be good. And then you're going to loop it through and then tie it. Because this is going to go on your back. Then we're going to tape it to the back of your wings. I have kind of like this big blue tape, but scotch tape, masking tape, any kind of tape will work. There we go. And now I'm going to move my chair. We're going to put on our wings. Be gentle because it is paper and it's a little fragile. But look! <laughs> look, my wings, they're flapping a little. I feel like a butterfly. I actually, I'm going to take you guys outside to my yard while I'm wearing my butterfly wings. Come walk with me. <laughs> We're going out to my yard because, and if you saw the flip grid last week, I had showed you our forsythia, some people say forsythia, but I think it's forsythia, forsythia bush. This beautiful yellow flowery bush and that just makes me think of caterpillars and butterflies because it's just so pretty and can you see I'm wearing my wings and I thought like you could run around your yard with your butterfly wings on I think that would be great I'm gonna show you I'm gonna put my computer down on my table wear these all day. I think it's fun to walk around your yard if it's warm enough. It's actually not too bad out right now. It was cold earlier but it's warming up. You can also bring out your butterflies and maybe again you can put them whoops <laughs> my wings hit the door. You can put your butterflies I'm gonna bring mine over And maybe we just let them sit on a plant. Because that's what they would like to do, right? Okay, well now we have some more fun things to do over here. I am putting my computer over here. I'm actually, I mean I love to keep my wings on, but I think it might get in the way while I'm singing some songs. I'm going to put them down. Okay. 
We've read a book about caterpillars and butterflies. We made paper towel butterflies. We made wings to wear on our backs. We went outside and saw a beautiful yellow forsythia bush. We put our butterflies in a plant, if you'd like, just for a little fun decoration and just to remind you of all of your friends that you have in the rose room. And now, I'm gonna sing some songs with you guys about some fun things about weather and about caterpillars. The first one we're gonna sing goes to the tune of Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Do you guys know that song? Old MacDonald Had a Farm, E-I-E-I-O. Okay, so there's that song, but we have new words today. And it's about a caterpillar and a butterfly. The very hungry caterpillar went out one day, E-I-E-I-O. He ate a lot of food all along his way, E-I-E-I-O. With a hop, hop there and a hop, hop there, here, hop, there, hop, everywhere. Hop, hop. The very hungry caterpillar went on his way, E-I-E-I-O. Well, guess what? It was time for him to go to sleep and to develop his cocoon around him. So he went to sleep. So guess what? This is how the next, next part goes. The very hungry caterpillar went out one day, E-I-E-I-O. He went to sleep inside his cocoon and slept away, E-I-E-I-O. With a choo and a choo there, here, there, choo everywhere. Choo! The very hungry caterpillar slept away. E-I-E-I-O. Well, what happens after he's done being in his cocoon? What does he turn into? A beautiful butterfly. The very hungry caterpillar woke up one day. E-I-E-I-O. He turned into a butterfly and flew away. E-I-E-I-O. With a flutter flutter here and a flutter flutter there. Here a flutter, there a flutter, everywhere a flutter flutter. The very hungry caterpillar turned into a butterfly and flew away. E-I-E-I-O. Fly like a butterfly. Well, that was fun. Okay. You guys kind of ready? Here is another fun song about two little butterflies. Two little butterflies sitting on a hill. One named Jack, one named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Two little butterflies sitting on a cloud. The other one loud. Fly away, quiet. Fly away, loud. Come back, quiet. Come back, loud. Two little caterpillars sitting on a stick. One name slow. The other one quick. Fly away, slow. Fly away, quick. Come back, slow. Come back, quick. Two little butterflies flying in the sky. One named low and the other one high. Fly away low, fly away high. Come back low, come back high. Well now, we have another song to share and to sing. This one is about the weather. It's been a little crazy weather because it's spring which means it's a little bit warmer in Chicago. We have a lot of interesting weather in Chicago. Um, but then there were some days last week like it snowed a little, and that can happen in the spring. So it just made me think of this song because it has all types of weather. And this song goes to skip, skip, skip to my loo, skip, skip, skip to my loo, skip, skip, skip to my loo, won't you be my darling? Only it is, we're gonna say it this way, the rain is falling, what do I do? The rain is falling, what do I do? Rain is falling, what should I do? Won't you be my darling? I'm putting on my rain boots, that's what I'll do. Putting on my rain boots, that's what I'll do. 
putting on my rain boots. That's what I'll do. Won't you be my darling? Well, after it's spring, and maybe we're done wearing our boots almost every day, it starts to get sunnier and warm out. The sun is shining, what should I do? The sun is shining, what should I do? The sun is shining, what should I do? Won't you be my darling? I'll put on my sunblock, that's what I'll do. I'll put shh on my sunblock, that's what I'll do. Shh. I'll put on my sunblock, shh. that's what I'll do. Won't you be my darling? Well, after summer, it starts to get a little cold again. And the wind, to move my umbrella, starts to blow. The wind is blowing, what should I do? The wind is blowing, what should I do? Ooh, it's getting cold. The wind is blowing, what should I do? Won't you be my darling? I'll put my hood up, that's what I'll do. I'll put my hood up, that's what I'll do. I'll put my hood up, that's what I'll do. Won't you be my darling? Do you know what's after fall? Winter. That is my favorite. And what happens? Whew, that wind really kind of messed up my hair there. What happens in the winter? The snow is falling, what should I do? The snow is falling, what should I do? The snow is falling, what should I do? Won't you be my darling? Putting on my mittens and gloves, that's what I'll do. Putting on my mittens, that's what I'll do. Put on my mittens, that's what I'll do. Won't you be my darling? Okay, well that was a fun song. A nice, fun song about all of the weather that we're having. I'm gonna pause you for just one second because I have to pick something up. Okay, hello again. Well, we've kind of been having some fun here. Sometimes you might be getting a little hungry, right? So I kind of thought about a snack. Actually, Annie had this really good idea about snack. You guys remember our hungry song and how we would have snack together? Well, there is a way of having kind of a fun um, snack about caterpillars and butterflies. So, let's have some toast. Here's a piece of toasted bread. We're gonna make avocado toast. Here is an avocado, but you can use jelly, you can use regular butter, you know, whatever, whatever you guys like. I have some guacamole here, or avocado, smushed avocado, called guacamole, and I'm putting that on my toast. But remember, your mom, dad, family members, big, big guys have to help you. So, I have my avocado toast. I'm gonna cut it diagonally into two triangles. Bread's a little thick. Then, you kind of turn it so that the corners touch. And look, it makes butterfly wings. And I cut a carrot. So I'm going to put the carrot in the middle. Move it down a little bit for the body. And then I have some raisins. Craisins. And it's kind of making the antennas. A little bit. Boop. Can you see that? I made butterfly toast. Hmm. I'm hungry. Hungry, hungry, I'm so hungry. Table, table, here I come. I could eat a moose goose burger. Fifteen pickles and a purple plum. Hmm. Pretty good, right? 
Yum. That. It's a delicious snack. So if you feel like making a little toast later with your family, you can. I have one more thing for you guys. I have one more book that if you want, if it's almost nap time or bedtime, you can just listen to one more story. And remember, The Very Hungry Caterpillar, Caterpillar was written by Eric Carle, who I love. And guess what? He wrote this book too. The Very Mixed Up Chameleon. Chameleons are really interesting animals that they can kind of change their shades and colors to look like what's behind them. So if they're on a tree, they can look like the dark color of the bark. If they're on a leaf, they could turn green like the leaf. So interesting. The Very Mixed Up Chameleon by Eric Carle. I have to put on my reading glasses for this. On a shiny green leaf sat a small green chameleon. It moved onto a brown tree and turned brownish. Then it rested on a red flower and turned reddish. Then it rested and on a green leaf and turned greenish. Boop. When the chameleon moved slowly across the yellow sand, it turned yellowish. You could hardly see it. Do you see that? Do you see that? You can barely see it. This is his eye. There, it's brown. And there he's kind of reddish orange. When the chameleon was warm and had something to eat, it turned sparkling green. But when it was cold and hungry, it turned gray and dull. When the chameleon was hungry, it sat still and waited. Only its eyes moved up and down. Can you move your eyes up and down? And sideways. Can you look sideways? Until it spotted a fly. And then the chameleon's long and sticky tongue shot out and caught that fly. Can you do that? Look at that. That was its life. It was not very exciting. But one day, the chameleon went to the zoo. Look, there's a sign for the zoo. Z-O-O. -O. It had never seen so many beautiful animals. What do we see? We see a polar bear, an elephant, a turtle, a seal, a flamingo, a fox, a giraffe with its long neck, a goldfish, a deer. And there's some nice family members going to see the zoo. Look, oh, must be a rainy day. Or maybe it's sunny, but I'm going to say it's rainy she has an umbrella. Some people use an umbrella for, to protect them from the sun, but I think it's raining. We used a, an umbrella today in the sun about the rain. Do you remember? The chameleon thought, how small I am, how slow, how weak. I wish I could be big and white like a polar bear. And the chameleon's wish came true. But was it happy? Look, it turned white like a polar bear. No. I wish I could be handsome like a pink flamingo. And look, he grew wings and flamingo feet. What? But was he happy? No. I wish I could be smart like a fox. And he even grew a happy, I mean a, a fox tail. But was he happy? I wish I could swim like a fish. Look. He has fins like a fish. Was he happy? No. I wish I could run like a deer. He grew antlers, started running like a deer. But was he happy? No. I wish I could see things far away like a giraffe because his neck is so long and he's so tall. He can look over everything. Was he happy? No. 
I wish I could hide in a shell like a turtle. Turtle shell, they can cover themselves up. But was he happy? No. I wish I could be strong like an elephant. Whoa, he has a whole head and trunk and big ears like an elephant. Was he happy? No. I wish I could be funny like a seal. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh, there they are. There's the fins of a seal. Was he happy? No. I wish I could be like people. Look at that. Now he's holding an umbrella like we did earlier, and he's wearing a hat. Just then, a fly flew by. The chameleon was very hungry, but the chameleon was very mixed up. He was a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and he couldn't catch the fly. <gasps> I wish I could be myself again. <gasps> and the chameleon's wish came true. He went right back to the way he should be, that very special chameleon. And the chameleon's wish came true, and... <gasps> Out came his sticky tongue again, and he caught that fly. And then he was happy. And look at that beautiful rainbow. Beautiful. Okay, I hope you guys had fun. I had fun. We did so many things together. We're going to be together again through our computers, just like this next week. We love you guys. Stay safe. Take your cleansing breaths if you need it. Ready for adios? Oh, I'm going to stand up. Here we go. Adi, 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 adios. Adi up above, adi down below. Adi from your nose down to your toes. Singing adi, 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 adios. Goodbye.